Hey guys, it's Rara Lay. And today I want to make sure that you guys go ahead and check out raralay.com, bringing you the latest in celebrity news, prop reviews, and entertainment so you get all the tea and all the gossip and keep up to date. And also you can check me out on YouTube at youtube.com slash raralay. And make sure you subscribe to our channel as well as Instagram, raralay, and Twitter at RLTV Media. Again, that's RLTV Media. Make sure you check us out. Hello, I'm Raralay with RLTV. And today, we are with international singer Sion. Hi. Sion, how are you? It's so good to have I'm you on the show. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. How are you? Good. You look good. I like your hair. Thank you. Thank you look beautiful. Much. How have you been? Like, how has the industry been for you? Um, it's been like it's been a ride. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I know when I first started professionally in 2012. Yeah. Um, yeah, it looked like it was going off, but then from 2013 it was just like zoom, then it went down, and then you know, back up in 2014 right. and that's because um i was independent at first mm -hmm. and i obviously i mean i came back to nigeria in 2012 and i hadn't really surveyed the industry before i plunged in right. and so after a while i just started having issues because i needed to be properly grounded yeah as, as such so i had to take a break um to redefine my sounds to understand the industry and just to create something that was unique to me that yeah. nigerians would relate to and fortunately for me in 2014 i got signed to a record label called Bosa music which mm -hmm. is the best record label in nigeria <laughs> um i'm saying that because yes i'm an artist on the label but also because um the label has vision and has strategy and has push behind it so um, i'm glad about everything it's been a ride where were you based before you came to Nigeria? I was in the UK. I was in England. I uh, okay. went to school. I uh, went to the University of Warwick. And so um, I had to be done with school. Basically. Yeah. Before so I you graduated now? Yeah. I'm what did you now. study? Um, I did a master's degree in international studies. Oh, check you out. <laughs> oh, in international master's. studies, um, sorry, international relations with focus on terrorism and counterterrorism. Wow. As well as the covert activities of the CIA. Wasn't planning on asking this, but now that I do know your major, how do you feel about the um, Boko Haram situation? Ah, uh, wow. I, sometimes it feels like um, I should be, you know, doing stuff using my um, my expertise to help, you know, better the country. But what's to say that I cannot do that through my music? Right. After all, I have a voice, you know, which a few people listen to, and I can you know, spread good news and just spread um, uh, news about just trying to be peaceful. Mm -hmm. But um, in all essence, I feel like music is what I'm supposed to be doing right now and mm -hmm. not focusing on any other thing. That's why I've just set everything aside. If worse or if push comes to shove and I have to, you know, work on the cover Yeah, if you're <laughs> I degree will, to fall back. I will, on. I will I will, I will you know, do But that's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not gonna happen. I'm sure I'm sure everything is a phase and it's gonna end soon. Yeah. So no. How did you feel doing the video with um, Wizkid, your latest single and video that came out, uh, yeah. Boogie Down? How yeah. did that even come about? Um, uh, well, before I got signed, my camp had um, reached out to Wizkid's camp that we mm -hmm. wanted to do a song together. And I think he did his research and he was you know, impressed with one song, so he right. decided to um, do a song with me, feature my song. So. Mm -hmm. um, Obviously, I had to wait for a bit because he has a very busy schedule. Yeah. Uh, but he eventually got some free time and said, you know what, come through. So I went to his house. Um, it was surreal because, yeah. I mean, obviously he's a superstar. He's an amazing, talented artist. Yeah. And he's worldwide mm -hmm. superstar. So um, it was very, how will I say, it wasn't too professional. Like, we just got into the studio. We literally wrapped up the song in 30 minutes. Oh wow! And I should, you know, um, Malik Barry was in the studio. So, yeah. And I always wanted to work with Malik Barry. So yeah, he's a town star from Whiskey. You know, I was wearing this knitted crop top, mm -hmm. and like a shimmy, like a shimmy. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> I guess that's where the inspiration from. Because it's a real sexy thing. Yeah. On, yeah. Um, came from. Yeah. But I definitely had fun, you know, making the music with him. And I'm glad that it's gotten um, the. Amazing, great, amazingly great reviews. Yeah. And, you know, people are really telling me good stuff about the song and appreciating it. That's so, going on. I remember one time on social media, somebody actually compared one of your songs to Tonto DK. <laughs> and I mean, yeah. I saw the comment. I was laughing when I saw your response because how did that make you feel? I just felt like, I mean, there's. 
at the end of the day, you never know where anyone's gonna end up. Mm-hmm. But there's people that specialize in something, and there's some people that just do something to fluke. But yeah. we clearly do not sound alike. Toto all. is talented in her own regarding her own, you know, in her own, in her own way. She has her own sound. Yeah. But it, I've been compared to like Britney Spears. I did a track. I did a record called Jara before. And yeah. It was really pop. It that was, was the like track that they. Pop. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, I, I've had people compare me to Britney Spears, and yeah. that was like, okay, that was. That's complimenting. You, you understand? Because I've heard you sing, so I know you can. So, <laughs> so but when you compare me to Tonzo DK, and you know, trust me, I feel you. <laughs> let's just let's just yeah. keep it there. So I had to address that. That you know, let's. I mean. Artists were told to, you know, just keep it going and mm-hmm. you know, not necessarily um, retaliate or react to stuff. Yeah. But there's sometimes you need to just set the record straight, <laughs> you know, and keep it going. Yeah. So that was one of those times. What tracks can we expect from you in the future? Like, are you working on a single, album, EP? What are you working on? I'm working on a body of music. Mm-hmm. I'm actually working on two bodies of music because I'm doing, I'm about to put out an EP. Mm-hmm. So i um, focusing on that. But in the long run obviously an album and I'm working with different people I'm working with SARS okay. producer. I'm working with Mike Berry I'm working with Musa Musa is yeah. the brain behind Tila Savages mm-hmm. the Land is Green album um, I'm working I want to work with Don Jazzy nice. you know, I want to work with international producers yeah. because I have a very diverse versatile sound and what I do is a fusion even if my music is primarily R&B so yeah. because I I dabbled in different genres when I was trying to find my sound mm-hmm. I was able to you know mix R&B with Afro beats with pop right. with rap, rap sometimes so I, I want to give that to people and that's why I'm working with various artists in the industry so that you know they could get all the facets to the sound right what themes can we expect from your album like is it uh, what, or whatever your future singles will be coming out is it gonna be love bad girl is it gonna be like what are you talking about well, just like my, my genres are, are fusion mm-hmm. the music the topic would be also a fusion. So it's gonna talk about love and heartbreak. It's gonna mm. talk about you know the circumstances in Nigeria. It's gonna talk about peace. You know, right. all, everything, every subject that I can possibly cover when it comes to humanity. <laughs> Who do you look forward to working with in the future? If you could select someone. Hmm. Okay, so. I grew up listening to a lot of international artists mm-hmm. and it would be an honor, it would be like a dream come true for me to work with the likes of Mio, work um, with um, Brian Leslie, you know. Yeah. Um, I want to work with people that have made an impact you know, in the world. Yeah. Not just by putting out good music but being instrumental to that. And I know that Mio and Brian Leslie are two very great producers yeah. and songwriters. So I want to work with them. Um, well, come back home to Africa. Yeah, I want to work with um, AKA. Okay, I think he has a music album that he's doing well. Right I want to work with Oskido or Liquid Dip. And in Nigeria, I would love to work with Olamide. Yeah, I'd love to work with Two Face. I'd love to work with Chidima Akira. Yeah. Who, um, I know Scales just got signed to the baseline label. Can we expect a collab with you oh, two? Absolutely, absolutely. Are um, you guys working on something yet? We are about to. I, we just started, he just played me something that he wanted you know, to give to me, and I cannot wait to do that. Oh, Scales is someone that I've, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scales is someone that I've, you know, always respected as an artist because I, I listened to him from back in the day. Yeah. And I remember when he got signed, when we had the first first day, press conference, he, he, you know, took us back to that time. I, I had, it had skipped my mind. You know, yeah. I shot it to the back somewhere. But it was just, it was refreshing to, to know that, you know, one day it could be somewhere. Right. And then the next day it could be in a completely different place. Right. Me. And I wouldn't have asked for a better artist. Than That's excellent. Yes. I'm going to ask you a few questions about your personal life because I always ask that in every interview. Um, so, your love life. Is there a special man that has your heart? Oh. Yeah. That looks like a yes. Yes. His name is Music. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, that is cheating. That is cheating. Okay, so there's no... I'm talking about a man like a male. Uh, of course I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Same talking. Um... Right now, no. In the future, maybe. But I'm just trying to, you know, focus. So you're single. Yeah, I can see that. 
<laughs> Interesting. Seems like you're dodging the question a little bit, but that's fine. Well, I just what, answered. what do you look for in a man? Oh, wow. So now that your applicants can know that they can be oh, okay. applying. So I, I'm definitely big on fitness. I love to, you know, eat good just for myself, mm-hmm. apart from, you know, for everybody to compliment us for myself. And I would love my man to look good too. So I like, yeah. you know, someone Compliment has like you. an athlete type of build. Yeah. I also like really tall guys. <laughs> so yes, uh, I don't know. I, I like tall guys. I think the tallest person I've ever made, it has to do with it, probably six five. How tall are you? I'm five six and a half. Okay. Yeah. With heels, so, you can probably get up to six foot. No, no, no. No? No. You don't me like. I don't think I get up to six foot. No. Because I don't. I don't think I wear that heels high. That yeah. That high. But, okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, tall, good looking, definitely, and. Somebody that has something going for himself, not someone that's just trying to find the ambition. Yeah. <laughs> someone that is already, already started. Yeah, yeah. Started and has there. part of the ambition. So yeah. you want them to be like already set? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That makes sense. Nobody's trying to struggle. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, the struggle time is there, but like. We're past that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you do for fun? Like, what excites you? Uh, fitness, <laughs> workout. Um, but I definitely like to, um, I like to try out nice food, mm-hmm. you know, um, I like to swim sometimes when I have a time, uh, I travel when I can, and yeah, I watch a lot of TV, you know, so. You said you like trying different food, what's like the weirdest food that you've tried that's different? <sighs> I think it was this, it was a McDonald's burger but with a shakalaka sauce in What's South that? Africa. Shak- shakalaka is like a sauce, like a, a meal or something in, in South Africa. So they put okay. sauce in the burger and it just... It just was it good? It, it, well, it could have been good but it's my own taste buds. <laughs> yeah, you know, just weren't familiar with it. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah, so that was kind of weird. What do you, like, besides what do you do for fun, like, what is something that I guess you would say like calms you down? Like if you're so frustrated and you're just like, okay, I can run to this and know that I'll be fine. Music. Like I get frustrated, I get tired of a lot of things, you know, but music has been the only constant thing in my life. Mm-hmm. Obviously apart from my family, but I'm away from my family now. And you know, that's because- Where's I your just, family base? They're, they're based in America, sorry, in Abuja and in England. Okay. And, um, I can see them, you know, in phases, like in different times. Right. Yeah. So yeah, music is just. I'm gonna ask you real quick because I've heard your voice and it's so beautiful. Could I get a little live, a burst or something? Uh, okay, I'm gonna do something from a song that I have not seen. Oh. I'm working on. It's called Friends with Benefits. So okay. I'm gonna try it. <clears throat> If you want to benefit, we could try the. I'm just gonna do that again, sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. If you want to benefit, we could try to do the maybe go around. Don't want to hesitate, cause I know I'll be coming for another round. Don't want to say I love you, cause you might turn around and walk away. But you can hit on it, fit on it, baby, cause I ain't shy no more. Would you be my homie? That was really good. Yeah. And that was an exclusive. You heard she hasn't even released it yet. That yeah. was really amazing. Yeah, so that's from a song called Friends with Benefits. And I know it's something that a lot of people can relate to. Yeah. Even if, you know, some people might want to deny it. You know. But yeah. This we all know what happens behind closed doors. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. When can we expect that track to come out? It's supposed to be on the uh, Okay. So very soon. When um, are you thinking like this month, next month? Oh, before the end of next month. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna have to send that to me because I want to hear. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. You get like the exclusive. Yay! Like, like, yeah. Real quick, where can your fans reach you if they want to talk to you, text you? Yeah, uh, they want to text me. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you guys want to hit me up, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Everything is Sign Music. So okay. at Sign Music. 
Twitter at Zion Music, Instagram, Instagram at Zion Music, Facebook.com slash Zion Music. Okay. And you can also go to my website, www.zionmusic.com, for more information about the Zion one. Shout me out and I will get back to you. Great. I'm actually going to pull this out because I saw these mm -hmm. and this is amazing. How does it feel to have your face on a bag? Like I walk in and I just like, okay, <laughs> who's this? Um, it's definitely, it's definitely glorifying, I guess, and surreal because obviously when you, in whatever field you find yourself, you want to get recognized, you want to get friends at what you do. And for me to be able to just give back to the fans and just like, um, just give them a piece of me, it's, it means a lot to me. Yeah. Okay, yeah. hold on. <laughs> so not only will I be drinking water, I'll be drinking water with Sion's face on it. Yes, that's this this really is cool. some serious <laughs> stuff. This is yeah. some serious stuff. And then a calendar, so yeah. I can have Sion at my desk yeah. as well. Yeah. Basically, you're just gonna be all around me. That's what. That's the. That's the essence. Oh, so these are the nice. Aim. You look flawless on this too. Thank you. This is Thank really you nice. Well, so, I'm doing giveaways, by the way. Are you? So, yeah. Oh, how um, do they get a giveaway? Um, competition. You know, I just throw out things every week or every other week on Twitter. Okay. To the fans, and once they answer correctly, um, I send it to them. So they just have to follow you on Twitter, answer yeah. the questions correctly, and then you guys exchange info, and yeah. you'll send it out. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you guys know that if you want a cool giveaway and to have. These fabulous giveaways that they're giving out, make sure that you follow her on Twitter at Scion Music and then answer the questions right. It's that simple. Thank you so much, Scion, for having me in the studio, having me um, actually able to interview you. It's been a pleasure being around you. It's been a pleasure having you in my space. In Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm glad that we did this. Thank you. Well, I'm Rara Lay with RLTV with Scion. It's a wrap. My, my, my. Say you wanna come to my room